all right guys welcome to another video in this video i want to show you a much better way to clean your xp600 printer heads other than your regular way you clean this uh so uh, we're going to be demonstrating this machine i'm sure you've never seen this machine before or it's super cheap to be honest uh, it's something that you need uh, in your business if you really plan to clean your machine effectively then you'll see what i mean in a minute let's say your xp600 printer head is blocked this is your xp600 printer head all right some older printer is is one i removed before I actually put the five nozzle exposure printer here that I sell. So I've left it on the floor for about five days, right? Left it on the floor for about five days. And so today I decided I was going to clean it. Yes, of course I've already cleaned it, but I'm just going to show you how this machine can do more cleaning for you than any other, uh, let's say you were using your hand. Now, previously, if you wanted to flush your XP600 printer head, this is what you would have done. You would have taken a syringe like this, and you'd have taken a little pipe like this, and you'd have stuck it in like this. And then you would have put that pipe in one of these nozzles, and you would have tried to suck out ink, right? Or at best, you would have tried to push out ink like that. And if you see that by that effort that I was making, let me open this up a little more. By that effort that I was making, you'll see that the printer head begins to respond because you are pushing in into the cavities of the exposure printer head like this. So watch what happens to the face of the printer head when I begin to push. I see. So you see inks coming out. This is the previous way I have taught you guys how to do this. But in this video, I want us to upgrade a little more. It might cost you a bit more, but trust me, it's not a lot. If you live in US or Canada, it's barely $20 or so, maybe $25. If you get this machine, it's a big lifesaver because it, it really makes your job faster, easier, and a lot smarter. So what this machine really does is the equivalent of what this does, only that it does it continuously. So in this one, you only get to pull once and then push. But this machine gets to do the exact same things. And it does it multiple times in a row. So it makes pushing ink out of these nozzles faster. So if you have a blockage in your printer head, for instance, if you keep, you know, running the pressure with a, with a pump, it's far better than when you were using your hand. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you in a bit. So what you do is there are two sides of this, especially if you choose to buy from me, right? There are two sides of this. We have the intake side and then we have the outtake side. So we're going to put this on top of the printer head like so. Now we'll just leave it there. You, you know, you can, you can hold it above the table like this or you can just hold it on the floor like that, whichever way you want. In this case, I'm just going to hold it and then see what the behavior looks like before I know what to do. Now, this is my intake pump. In the first case, I'm going to let it just pump air into the cavity. So to activate it, now it's currently on. It's basically just connected by a switch that goes onto the wall. It's not a lot of thing. So now uh, it's powered this way. So if you press the button forward like this, it begins to push out. But if you press the button this way, it begins to suck out, right? So if I if I push it down this way, it will push in, it will push air into the printer head. Whereas if I if I press the other way around, it begins to pull air from the printer head, which is effectively both motions that you need to be able to clean your printer head. So I'm going to do the first stage, which is to push ink in. So watch what happens. By the time I press this button. It begins to rotate and then it begins to push ink into the printer head and then watch what happens in the other side it just begins to clean right it just begins to clean so this is the equivalent of what you are doing with this syringe only you are doing it several times a minute so the chances of cleaning the head especially if it's been like a day or a week or so old is faster and much more convenient and much more effective all you just need to do is switch this tube now 
to the next nozzle switch this tube now to the next nozzle right and then push and then that's it like that right it just clears off the face it just clears off the hole uh if it falls off just carry it and plug it like that and then it begins to push and then what you could do is also to push it in here like that so just do the same thing across all the six nozzles and by the time you're done you now have all your nozzles clean can you see that can you see the way it's behaving so it's actually pumping that ink per second which is a lot more effective than if you had used your syringe now by the time you're done with cleaning all the nozzles uh that by rem that reminds me by the way this is this printer head has been left for like six days and look at how well it still cleans all the nozzles and all the nozzles are clean right now the next part of thing i really wanted to show you is uh, this liquid so this liquid is both a moisturizing liquid and a cleaning liquid so uh, i put a, a bit of it into this small bowl right here so what i want to do next now is that i want to pass that liquid into the printer head to preserve the printer head for future use especially if i'm doing my experiment but i don't want the insides to dry so that's what this liquid is for so i recommend that when you're buying this from me you should also buy a bit of this liquid right it's a bit pricey as well but again it's under two three dollars for anybody who uh, really wants it so remember so let's just do that right so remember i said that you take this nozzle which is the uh, sorry this tube which is the intake nozzle right right now the intake nozzle is pumping air into the printer head but this time around we wanted to pump this cleaning solution right so i'm just going to put this here like that right and then what i'll do next watch me is that i'll just put the tip of this into the liquid can you see how it's taking the liquid into itself right and then it'll come out on the other side of the head uh if it's not sufficient enough to pull up right i just need to dip it more into the liquid and it will have a bit of liquid to work with uh in the process if this one pulls out just oh bad too bad if that one pulls out just uh stick it back on top of the printer head and then it will wash the printer head like that and not just wash it will then moisturize the hole i don't know if you bought printer heads before and you saw some liquid on the face of the printer head this is that liquid this is that liquid so what this one will do is preserve your printer head while you are not using it so you know that effectively your printer head is kept and it is no longer dirty or clogged with ink and so you can save it for the day when you don't need it. so you just do the same thing for the other leg uh, if there's still a bit of ink coming out you can just continue with that till you don't see any ink coming out right so uh, if you sense that the liquid you're passing into it uh, is not sufficient all you just need to do is carry this and then put the pipe inside and then to just take the liquid in by itself and then look at the face of the printer head you see that it's now washing and cleaning it off can you see that spill so you take the same nozzle put it back in the third hole and then you also turn it back on right so you can just hold it right and if you look at the face of the head it will pump out that liquid and then so thereby moisturizing the face so we'll do the same thing for the fourth like so right and like i said if the liquid has finished all you just need to do is put this pipe into a tiny bit of it you don't have to waste it because the liquid is a bit expensive so put a tiny bit of it into it and then you see how can you see how it just jets out cleansing the face and you do it all the way till the colors are out so all you see is just clear liquid and then once you're done with this you just carry this printer head and then go and 
keep it for safe use. Uh, get this machine. It'll really help you. It's a big game changer for your business. And then get this liquid, right? Both of those, uh, you don't spend $25 getting both of these. But uh, the addition it brings to your business is in the order of millions because that way it saves you printer head. You can keep print heads and all of that stuff. So. So that's it guys, I hope this has helped you. If it has, I want you to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on the notification bell. Till then, bye bye, take care, love you.